Hello, welcome to Extend Office. In this video, we'll guide you through various methods to shade every other row or column, helping you present your data in a more appealing and straightforward manner. This tutorial, we will talk about Highlight every other row or column in Excel Alternate row color based on value changes in Excel Section 1, Highlight every other row or column Method 1, by applying table style. Select the data range that you want to shade every other row or column. Then click Home tab. Click Format as Table. And then choose a table style that is alternate row shading. In the Create Table dialog Bob, click OK. Now, the selected data has been shaded alternately. Once you apply a table style, your table's odd and even rows will automatically be shaded in alternating colors. When you insert, delete or sort the rows, the color banding will be dynamically adjust on its own. To shade every other column, click any one cell in the table. Under the Table Design tab, Uncheck the Banded Rows option, and check the Banded Columns option. Now, the table is shaded alternately in columns. Method 2. By using a quick feature Coo Tools. Select the data range. And then click Coo Tools. Format. Alternate Row Column Shading. In the dialog box, select rows or columns you wish to shade. Then choose conditional formatting or standard formatting you need. Conditional formatting, select this option, the shading will be adjusted automatically if you insert or delete rows. Standard formatting, select this option, the shading will not be adjusted automatically as you insert or delete rows. Then specify a shade color for highlighting the rows or columns. Specify the interval at which you want to shade rows. At last, click OK button. Now, the data has been shaded alternately. Method 3. By using conditional formatting. In this section, we'll dive into some examples to help alternate row colors in different ways. Shade every other row, column. Shade alternating groups of in rows, columns. Example 1, shade, every other row, column. Select the data range that you want to shade. Then, click Home tab. Conditional formatting. New rule. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, click Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format values where this formula is True text box, please type any one of these formulas. Here, I will apply the formula Shade Every Odd Row, you can use the one you need. Then, click Format button. In the Format Cells dialog box, under the Fill tab, specify one color, you want to fill the rows. And then, click OK. OK. Now, the data range has been shaded alternately. If you want to highlight alternate columns, please apply these following formulas. Example 2, Shade Alternating Groups of In Rows, Columns. Select the data range that you want to shade. Then, click Home tab. Conditional formatting. New rule. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, click Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the Format values where this formula is True text box, 
please type any one of these formulas. In the formulas, the number 3 indicates the group of rows that you want to shade alternately. Here, I will apply the formula shade alternate in rows from the first group. Then, click Format button. In the Format Cells dialog box, under the Fill tab, specify one color you want to fill the rows. Then, click OK. OK. Now, in rows have been shaded alternately from the data range. To shade alternating groups of in columns, please apply these formulas. Section 2, Alternate Row Color Based on Value Changes Sometimes, you may need to change row colors based on different cell values. For instance, here, I want to highlight rows where values in column B change. Method 1. By using conditional formatting, Select the data range that you want to shade, exclude the header row. Click Home tab. Conditional formatting. New rule. In the new formatting rule dialog box, click Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the format values where this formula is true text box, please type any one of these formulas. Here, I will type the formula, shade rows based on value changes from the first group. Then, click Format button. In the Format Cells dialog box, under the Fill tab, specify one color, you want to fill the rows. Then, click OK. OK. Now, the rows are shaded, based on cell value changes alternately. Method 2. By using a powerful feature KuTools. Click KuTools. Format. Distinguish Differences. In the Distinguish Differences by Key Column dialog box, specify the data range and the key column that you want to shade color based on. In the Options section, check the Fill Color option and then specify one color. In the Scope section, choose Selection from the drop-down. At last, click OK. Now the rows have been shaded, based on the cell value changes. Thanks for watching, see you next time.